Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. I have missed you all. I love you all. I hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> you know, a sister been busy lately. I've been trying to let y'all know things have been going on. A lot of stuff is moving on my side of things. But I will. You all are just as busy, just as blissed as I feel. I will. All is blissed and wonderful in your world. I definitely wanted to do um, another reading for you all this week uh, because I do know that I've been kind of MIA and I know for a lot of you all you kind of look for um, some of these messages uh, so I don't want to disappoint um, so spirit was like do another reading so here I am um, this is going to be a general reading um, and my spiel for anybody that may be new is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply just let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so please check your moon your rising your venus your mercury your mars check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you um, my readings are also timeless so whenever you see this video in your feed whenever you feel compelled to push play because of the timestamp, because of the thumbnail because of the title that was in fact divine timing um, i received a question in the comment section are my readings gender specific? That is an absolute no. If you hear me slipping up, that's because 99.9% .9 of my viewership are feminine energy. I do apologize to the fellas um, if you do hear me saying feminine or you know um, masculine in the wrong context. Please just switch the roles, you know, as necessary. Um, I do apologize, and I will work on that for you all. Um, but welcome to anybody that may be new. Um, my name is Q, as I said. I uh, channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, so I do pick up on the energy um, of those you know, um, important characters. Um, and I'm also clairaudient. So I uh, listen to music and it tends to blend very beautifully with what comes out with the tarot card. Um, right now we have Tamia, I'm so into you. Um, so there's somebody that's very much into you, very, very attracted to you, very uh, drawn to you. I feel like this is like almost like a secret admirer, somebody that kind of sits back in, you know, behind the scenes and kind of watches you. Um, this is somebody that you uh, may know or someone that may, um, you may feel like you know them when you meet them. So you'll feel the sense of familiarity or chemistry or synergy when you do uh, meet this person, if you are not um, aware of who this is. Uh, but this is somebody that's really digging on you, um, really into you. I have right now Maxwell. Uh, this is called something, something. So this person thinks you're something. They think you're something special. Um, I feel like this person tries to play it real smooth or they may try to play it smooth when you do bump into this person. Um, and they, you know, this is from the Love Jones soundtrack. So I am feeling strongly like they do have a very strong um, emotional um, attraction um, towards you. This is somebody that really is used to playing it cool, smooth, calm, collected. But it's like something about you um, that really takes them out of character, that really makes them kind of go crazy. Um, so that's very beautiful. I love that. So um, beautiful Scorpios, let me do some house cleaning uh, before we delve into the reading. Um, I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, our beautiful deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we got Maxwell singing a little something, something. So I feel like somebody that feels a little something, something for you is coming in. This person has a love Jones, you know, and they may try to play it cool and calm and, calm and collected. But on the inside, they are like erupting, honey. They are erupting. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we got abundance. 
So look at this. This is all pink. Pink is associated with the heart chakra. So I feel like there's going to be an abundance of this emotional fulfillment, joy, peace, elation, happiness. Um, underneath that, we got creativity and relationship change. So this creativity is the number three. That is the number of the divine feminine, the empress in traditional tarot. So somebody is very attracted to you. If you are feminine energy, if you are masculine energy, you have a feminine that's very attracted to you. I feel that this this eight eight, I feel like there's going to be an abundance of love between you and this person. I feel this is a wish fulfillment for both of you. Both of you are looking at one another as wish fulfillment. And this is your karma. This is like karma dharma. You reap what you sow. The seed you've been planting, Scorpio, is harvesting. So now you're going to have this abundance of love. Five, five, five. That's six. That's the number because it's 15. 15 reduces to six. That's the number of the lovers. So I feel like with this double number, I always explain double numbers to me. The way that I intuitively pick up on that energy is that you're mirroring someone, something that's coming in towards you. And we already know this person has a love Jones and that this person feels something very special towards you. We see that they see you as this divine feminine or divine masculine, either or. They find you to be very attractive. It's like you're radiating this love, this light, this, this confidence, this strength, this leadership quality. You're very empathic. You're very much that master manifester. You're very abundant. You're regal. You're royal. You're seen as very creative, a mastermind of sorts. It's like this person is very drawn to you. And with this yellow, it's like someone could be mustering up the strength, the courage, and even the wisdom, the wise dome to come towards you. Because they are, you know, with that mellow, smooth reference from the Maxwell song, um, I feel like this person tries to play it smooth, tries to really play it cool, calm and collected. But on the inside, like I said, it's like they're erupting. Their emotions are erupting. Their passion for you is erupting. And I feel like with this 16, this breaks down to 16, 7, the two of you communicate telepathically or intuitively. I feel this person... Uh, could also have a heavy dream activity. Like there's a lot of dreams, a lot of dream activity between you and this person, or this person may dream of you a lot. They may visit you, you know, through astral traveling. Right now we have Shaka Demu and Pliers, and this is called Bomb Bomb. And, it's, and then we have um, All She Wrote is the name of this album. So I feel like this person sees you um, as someone that is like, because with All She Wrote, I'm trying to get, you know, because with me, with um, all she wrote, you know, maybe you all are writers. Um, maybe you all are singers. All Maybe some of you all are um, creatives in some way, because with that creativity, um, I feel like you may have some sort of gift, maybe in writing, or maybe um, you have like a blog, maybe you have a, a podcast. Um, maybe you have something where you are, um, there's like a script, you know, or something that you could be communicating, um, verbalizing and expressing. And someone is, you know, kind of like paying attention um, to everything that you're writing, to everything perhaps that you're doing. With this self-love, someone does feel, you know, like I said, that you um are very beautiful, you know, that you have a sense of self-love, self-worth, self-value, and you are radiating the sense of self-confidence, um, the strength, this power, this, this leadership quality. Uh, the empress, she knows her worth and value, um, as does the emperor. So they know their worth and value, which means they don't settle. So it's like somebody's really drawn to that. And this is another seven. So you got seven and seven here. So this is somebody that does think about you a lot. Uh, maybe with all she wrote, maybe somebody is going to pen, um, you know, like a four page letter, like, you know, pen a letter um, expressing their feelings. Uh, maybe there's a feminine that's writing something to you or maybe there's um, someone that's writing um, perhaps a, a letter uh, typing an email or, you know, texting you a text message expressing how they feel. Um, with Bomb Bomb, 
um, I feel like it's going to come, you know, unexpectedly. Uh, it's going to be like, bam, you know, like it's just going to be out of the blue. Um, but I feel like it's because somebody feels attracted to you. We all know that self-love makes you more attractive. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. I feel like I already shuffled the cards and that abundance. OK, no, I didn't. So we have music. So this is telling me, listen to this song. And so with Shaka, I'm, I'm getting like you're going to be shocked um, when somebody because I do feel somebody is going to um, communicate with you unexpectedly. Some of you all could also be clairaudient. Maybe you all, like I said, are musicians. Maybe you write music. Maybe you write lyrics. Um, maybe you write actual like you, you do sheet music. Um, you could work in an oh, I'm hearing an orchestra or band um, where you know how to like read music notes. And, you know, um, so this is very specific to someone. But I do feel like um, someone thinks of you a lot during the music as well. Maybe the music communicates to someone um, and it encourages them and motivates them and inspires them to reach out. Um, I feel like you all are also musicians as well. I just saw 1111. So somebody that you may share the same um, likeness, you know, of or genre of music. Um, could be thinking of you and wanting to express something to you. Right now we have Brown Sugar featuring Cool G Rap. Um, so somebody is absolutely like they're attracted to you. You know, they, they you could be like, you know, you know, brown skin, little mommy, you know, or you could be of darker skin tone. Um, you know, you got all kind of assortments of flavors and variety of, um, you know, skin tones. Um, so they just they, they feel that you're very sweet, very beautiful. They may love if you are of, you know, um, if you do have <clears throat> like that brown skin. It's like there's something about your skin. I'm hearing the word velvet, like somebody feels like you just got this beautiful velvet chocolate skin. Um, um, somebody really loves just, you know, how sweet you are. Maybe you smell sweet all the time and they just love the way you smell um, maybe some of you all use like brown sugar scrubs um, you know when you're cleansing your skin and it just leaves your skin feeling so smooth and soft because um, it exfoliates you know sugar you know naturally will exfoliate and get all that you know that dead skin off of you but maybe some of you all utilize like a brown sugar um, mixture in your your skincare treatment and somebody really loves the way you smell like um, your pheromones mixed with that is just like that's intoxicating. It, it does something to them, um, but they're very attracted to you. And I feel like with this song, um, this person definitely um, is really uh, going to express something to you because that 32 is the throat chakra. Uh, so they they really you know, maybe that's the way that this person, maybe this person is a musician. They could be an artist. They could be, you know, like I said, a hip hop artist or a singer because D'Angelo is singing right now. Maybe they play a guitar or the piano because he plays the guitar and the piano. Um, but I feel this is somebody that may uh, be a musician, like I said, or maybe you are a musician uh, and you're being told, you know, maybe somebody sees, you know, or appreciates your creativity, you know, your creative voice, your artistry, because we did have all she wrote. And uh, maybe somebody will express that to you. We have relationship change and this is uh, 56. So we did see 1111. I saw 1111 on a clock. And so this 11 is telling me that you have like a twin flame, a soulmate. Um, this is somebody that's like a cosmic companion. This could even be like a past life love. Um, this is somebody that I feel that you have a very strong synergy and chemistry with because this person literally is watching you from a distance and they're feeling drawn to you. They're feeling compelled to come toward you. Um, but perhaps they're trying to play it cool uh, because we have cool G rap. Um, like I said before, you know, we had mellow, smooth, uh, something, something. This person has a love Jones um, and D'Angelo. Um, also has a song called Love Jones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is somebody who tries to play it cool. They're so used to trying to play it cool, um, you know, because maybe they think they're, you know, maybe they think they're a little, um, 
a little player. Maybe they was trying to be a player in the past. Maybe they got a player past. But I feel like this is somebody that's really, really drawn to you and they realize how much they care about you. Um, so let's see. Who is this person that Scorpio is attracting? Who is this person that Scorpio is attracting to them? They have a message of love and light. Who is the person Scorpio is attracting? They have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Thank you. And so this card just flew out. Let's get that bottom of the deck. And we have self-discipline. So this is absolutely somebody that's been learning to control themselves. I feel this is somebody that seeks your forgiveness. Maybe they did some things, you know, that that um, maybe they said some things because I see this all blue. Blue is the throat chakra. They could have said some things without thinking, you know. And so, you know, like I said, with the six, they could be communicating with you telepathically. This is absolutely somebody um, that feels you're like the yang to their yin. Um, because six is the lovers, 96 reduces to 15, so that's six. So this is somebody that uh, feels you're like their kindred spirit. Uh, we have Monica, like this and like that. Um, so maybe this person was a little impulsive, unreliable, gave you mixed signals. One minute they was like this, next minute they was like that. 16, 16 on the clock, that's seven, seven, 14, that's five. So that caused conflict. That This person was you know, kind of like dealing with multiple people there was competition uh they was also listening to the wrong people they weren't utilizing their own intuition and i feel like for that they may have said some things that they may regret um you know there's a lot of shame and remorse um but they do communicate with you telepathically they dream about you a lot i feel like they thought they was too cool for school you know what i'm saying like they was trying to act unbothered they was trying to act like they didn't care uh, but deep down they did um, and I think that they thought, you know, ultimately like the options that they may have had um, were going to keep them satisfied and they're not. And so now they just really desire and seek your forgiveness. Um, you know, they want to bring things back into balance, back into harmony. Um, they're learning, you know, they're, they're learning how to be a better person. They're learning how to um, emote. We got 1717 on the clock. So that's 8-8 eight, eight again. That was the abundance. So this person does see you as a wish fulfillment. I feel like they're doing a whole lot of praying, wishing on a star, um, writing petitions. They could be um, penning letters, you know, because we had all she wrote. So if this is a feminine energy, um, you know, with that all she wrote, even if it's a he writing, um, all she wrote, just take off the S, all he wrote. Um, maybe they're writing you a letter explaining things. Maybe they are penning you a four page letter expressing their feelings, explaining to you what was going on with them and overall what's been happening within um, their lives since you all departed. I feel this person has been learning and growing. This 41 is the, um, is five. Uh, five deals with, you know, changes, conflicts, uh, but someone also, you know, learning to um, practice healthy self-care. Um, this is also about self-love, self-discipline, um, not being cocky, not trying to be too cool for school, not trying to be the player or the playerette. This is somebody um, learning to have self-control, um, learning to take onus and accountability for their actions even, um, not being flip-floppy and, you know, flighty, um, not telling you one thing and doing the next. Uh, this is somebody that had to take a long look in the mirror. Um, five is the hierophant, so maybe someone sought uh, wise counsel, maybe somebody spoke to an elder in the family or went to counseling, or maybe somebody is seeking, um, you know, a higher sense of understanding by uh, going on a spiritual journey. Maybe they've been kind of opening themselves up to uh, learning more, you know, or connecting more with their spiritual selves. And that's confirmation. Um, so let's take a peeky peek. Let's see. How does this person feel about you? They obviously feel that you have self-love, self-worth, self-value. Um, they feel that you're in control, that you've taken your power back. Um, and they have a message of love and light. Divine spirit of love and light. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. How does this person feel? Thank you, spirit. What did I say? Divine feminine. They feel you're very beautiful, regal, royal, attractive. You know your worth, your value. You're abundant. You're powerful. You're a master teacher. You're a nurturer, a healer, a shaman. You are paternal or maternal. 
uh, you're very affectionate, you're caring, you're kind, and you're creative. You know, you create the potions and elixirs to life. You're the alchemist, you're the sorceress. You are the high priestess, the channeler, the clairvoyant, the clairaudient. You are very, very in tune and you're very enlightened. Like when this person sees you, how they feel about you is they feel that you bring a lot of sunlight, a lot of joy. You're a light bearer, you know, you just bring a lot of light. And we have surface and this is called happy. So what did I just say? You bring happiness and joy. So this person feels happy when they think of you. They feel that you are their divine feminine, their divine masculine. They feel drawn to you. And this is something that they, you know, the root cause of the situation is that maybe they said some things they regret. That's why they're seeking forgiveness. Maybe they betrayed you in some way. Um, but how they feel about you is that you're super creative. So you could be birthing new styles, new ways of thinking. You could have a business. You could be creating. Um, like I said, I felt like some of you all are mu musicians or writers, authors. You could play instruments, confirmation again. So that's for some of y'all because remember your overall energy was music. And so the divine is saying maybe this person also hears music and they think of you. And what they're saying is only you can make me happy. So this person does feel like 2121 on the clock, 33. So 33 is 6. So this is definitely somebody... Um, that feels you are the yang to their yin, their twin flame. That's the lovers. So there is a spiritual union here. This person absolutely, you know, 21 is the number of the world card. So there can be distance between you and this person. There could also be um, some major changes, shifts, transformations going on in both of you guys' lives. We have perseverance here. So you've persevered through a lot. I feel like this is why, you know, this person has this newfound love for you because four is the number of the um, divine masculine, but it's also the number of the um, heart chakra. So this is a divine masculine that is, you know, feeling very happy and overjoyed when they think of you. Um, this is somebody that sees how much you've, you know, endured and how much you've persevered through it all. Two, 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 that's four, four. So 4-4, four, four, to me, that's like 11-11-11-11 twice. So this is absolutely like a twin flame, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, the yang to your yin. This is a kindred spirit. There's no denying. And this person is thinking and feeling in their soul, in their gut, that only you can make them happy. This person definitely knows that, the, that you've persevered through a lot, that you've been very resilient and strong. This also is all green. So they feel that you ground them because you're grounded, balanced, and in alignment spiritually, mentally, emotionally. They feel like you can do the same for them. This is a divine masculine. So this is somebody that's also been working on themselves. This is also somebody that has gained some sort of epiphany, aha moment. They've also been more, um, more obedient to trusting their you know, intuition and using discernment now. They've grown. You know, They've had to go through some sort of death. Also, because I feel like they've had to um, experience some sort of loss. And I feel the loss was you, you know, losing you or losing this connection. And if this is somebody that you already know, this is somebody that you um, you do have a strong connection, chemistry, synergy with this person. And I feel with surface, the name of the, the artist is surface. So I feel like, you know, this is things that, you know, on a surface level, they try to get, you know, come off like they don't care. But deep down, like I said, I feel this person is like erupting with emotions. This is all green. This is we're about to clarify or pull the card for what's hidden. So we, what's hidden is this person thinks you're sexy because we have Mary J. Blige singing sexy. So they feel you're you're very sexy. They feel you're like a natural healer. You know, they feel you have a lot of stability, security, you're self-made, you know, you've really had to pull yourself up from the bootstraps. They feel like they can build and grow with you. They could plant seeds, roots, you know what I'm saying? Like they could have a nucleus with you, that happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This is somebody that could see themselves marrying you. This is four, which is to me the vibration of 11, 11, as I said. So this person absolutely, 
um, sees you as their divine feminine or divine masculine. So what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. So this person thinks you're sexy. If you're masculine, they are very attracted to you. They think you're fine. I heard fine. You know, you, some of y'all may have like a beard and you put like nice essential oils in your beard and it's nice and shiny and somebody may like to play with your beard. Maybe some of y'all braid like your beard. Um, I'm, I'm getting a vision of somebody like having a nice, big, beautiful, bushy beard. You know, even if you don't have a beard, I'm get, I'm seeing somebody with like a baldy or somebody who has like this just big, beautiful, you know, um, haircut, like, you know, nice, just nice head of hair. You know, uh, it's just like you're welcome. All right. So look at this double number seven, seven. This is a spiritual union. You can't make this up. This is absolutely somebody you could have met in a former life. And there could have been this runner chaser dynamic between you because whenever you have a twin flame, there's always one that's woke, one that's still resting, you know, in regards to the relationship. So I feel like there was a runner chaser situation. I feel the person, you know, that you're attracting was the runner. And I feel for a long time, Scorpios, you're all with a chaser and then you just stop chasing. And then we have spirituality here. So you and this person are mirroring one another. I was picking up on the fact that there was a lot of psychic communication, telepathic, intuitive communication. This person feels you're sexy. They communicate to you uh, telepathically how beautiful, how attractive you are. I feel this is absolutely um, a kindred spirit. And we have love. This person does love you. And we know that because... 9, 6, 15, this is their energy, the person you're attracting. They want your forgiveness because there is love. So not only are they, you know, attracted to you, um, not only do they think you're something special, but like I said, this person has a love Jones. And this is somebody that you are familiar with. This is somebody you could have worked with, somebody you could have met at work, somebody you could have met in a city, state, or town you resided in. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, where else are you going to meet them? But this is somebody that, like, you could have met them in, um, in your apartment complex or at a job or at, you know, within the environment, you know, somewhere in the environment and an outside setting. Um, I feel like you bumped into this person and this was to me, like this was divine intervention, like the divine conspired to bring you and this person, um, into alignment. And I feel like there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes because this is another green, and so I feel like with environment, this could be somebody that could um, evolve into like your husband, your wife uh, with four, four. This is you and this person, again, matching one another's energy, which means you both are going to love one another equally. You're both going to give to this connection equally. There's equal give and take. There's no, you know, lack of reciprocity. Um, this is someone that will love you unconditionally and you will love them unconditionally. I definitely feel that this relationship has the potential to grow into like a marriage or commitment um, of some sorts. Even if you don't jump the broom per se and get married at, you know, um, and have all those legal documents and everything. I feel like this will be like a commitment, like you will have like a commitment ceremony um, where someone will, you know, bring you two into union. But this is beautiful because this person is in your environment. I feel like they're closer than you can even imagine. Um, and I feel like this person's coming towards you because they, they're just super attracted to you. Um, and they love you. They love you dearly. And, and I feel like they're also clairaudient. They could be picking up on messages, you know, or maybe they're sending you messages uh, through the music. You know, we got relationship change. So you will be in a relationship very soon. If you're single, you won't be for long because the divine is saying relationship change. This is the same 56. So that's that 11 energy that I was telling you about. And I'm also feeling like, you know, with this, we got teaching and learning underneath that. So this was definitely um, a growing pain. You know, as I said, you know, oftentimes with a twin flame or a cosmic companion, there will be the runner chaser dynamic. And so I feel like you may have been teaching this person um, your love language, you know, and by you disconnecting, um, that taught them, you know, how much they loved you. 29, 29 is 11, 11. So there goes that, that 11 reference again, whenever we speak of your person that's coming in. So this is a cosmic companion. You've been teaching them. So, you know, oftentimes it will be the student and the teacher at the same time. 
And I feel like that was the case for you, Scorpios, because I feel like you are further along than your person in terms of awareness, you know, um, not to take anything away from anyone. It could be vice versa. Um, but I do feel like you could have been awakened to um, the truth of this connection or the the um, the uh, the uh, how do I say? Of the of the the, the 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 history, you know, you could have felt, you know, from the first time you bumped into somebody, like there was something uh, very very powerful about that connection, about that person, about you got you guys's um, relationship, and somebody got the memo a little later than you. Um, we got SWV weak playing, so this person does feel a little weak, which is why they try to play it cool remember we had cool g rap uh and then we had mellow smooth uh for you know something something maxwell song so mellow smooth so they try to play it cool they try to play it smooth but they're really weak for you um they really feel weak for you they really feel um this love jones this love connection uh and i feel because you're so psychic you know this you know they love you you know deep down they love you and i feel like they know you love them you know but they also know that you love yourself and you're not going to settle for anybody mistreating you or anybody, you know, um, not reciprocating, you know, not valuing you, not trusting um, the process, not allowing themselves to be vulnerable. Um, so they know that you're creating the boundaries for protecting yourself to protect yourself. Thirty one, thirty one. So that's four, four. So that's eight. You know, so this person absolutely feels your wish fulfillment. Um, but they're very hopeful, very optimistic, and I feel they've been praying for this connection. They've been manifesting this connection. They also see you as a master manifester. They know that you've been healing, which is why they see you as this radiant light. You know, you could be inspiring and triggering them to do their work. I feel like the work you do all is amplifying whatever work um, they're doing, and it's really making them um, learn to trust the process. You know, so let's take a look and see what we got coming in, going out, going on. I'm going to pull some messages from the Energy Oracle deck. So here we have, this is the door to personal healing and happiness. So better days are ahead. This is the number 34. You know better days are ahead. That's another seven. And you know there's better days ahead because opportunities are opening up for you. Because you've completed cycles. Because you've, you know, paid off karmic de debts you know seven is the chariot so there's positive movements forward i have the hiccups give me <gasps> one moment and so what she just said is there's something about the way you do the things you do and remember we had maxwell something something so like i said there's just something about you that drives them crazy. It drives them insane. And so now this seven, this is the chariot. So now there's positive movements forward. Somebody is finding balance. Somebody is finding the confidence. Somebody is going to be more assertive this time around. And I feel like that's going to lead them to the door to personal healing and happiness because they were trying to reserve their feelings, press, you know, suppress them, push them down because they just wanted to appear like they didn't care. Three, 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 three. That's three, six, nine, twelve. That's three. So, but they deeply care about you because they see you as the empress. They cannot hide their feelings. They cannot hide how much you make them happy, how much joy they feel. Um, they also want to heal this connection because they feel that your love is one in a million. We have Aaliyah um, playing here in the background. So they definitely feel that your love is one in a million, which means that you're rare. Nobody else could top it. There's no other you. Um, and they feel like, you know, walking through this door um, will lead, you know, walking, you know, back into your life, perhaps, uh, because maybe you closed the door on them in the past um, and focused on yourself and, and started to, you know, tap into your creativity. Um, you got lost in those that creative space, you know. And, um, you know, somebody is wanting to re-enter your life. And I feel like they, it's because they know that that's where, you know, happiness is. You know, home is ultimately where the heart is. We got 34, 34, and then this is 34. So that was 7, 7, 14, um, and that's 5. So they're going to communicate with you. 
now they feel this urge, this need to express themselves, to tell you that your love is one in a million, to tell you that there's no one else like you. So let's tap in on the split. We got blossoming abundance. So this is the second time abundance showed up. So you're not only going to have the door to personal healing and happiness, but you also have blossoming abundance, which means that again, with this three, this is you manifesting this with your hard work, with you persevering through pain, being resilient, being strong, taking your power back, you know, owning your power, being that leader, you tapping into your creativity is bringing and generating some sort of wealth, some sort of opulence, expansion in your life. A harvest is blossoming and growing. And I feel like you're going to have, you know, infinite supply, better days ahead. Uh, this is going to bring joy, elation, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. You're going to feel very content. Um, and somebody sees your worth now. They didn't see it before. And then there's others that are very jealous. People who were deceitful, people who were deceptive, rather, people who were uh, tricksters, gamers, serpents, um, those individuals, you know, tried to keep you stuck and stagnant. But I feel like you started to, you know, play closer attention to these individuals. This 30 is, you know, literally, that's still three. Um, and that's the empress. So you had somebody who was trying to control and manipulate. Um, this seven to me is dealing with the seven deadly sins. This is like that devil energy. So this is someone who's very greedy, um, you know, a liar, you know, a thief. This is somebody that, you know, uh, strategizes ways to, to take somebody out to, to um, prey on someone's downfall. Someone very manipulative. Um, and I feel like you started to notice that um, in the people around you. You started to notice those tendencies, started to pay closer attention. Someone was trying to cause confusion in your life. Um, this is mental um, anguish. This is mind fuckery. Uh, this is due in part to somebody gaslighting. Um, I feel like somebody could have said to you, like, I love you, you know, just to keep you stuck, just to control you. Um, but their actions didn't show you that. Um, I feel like you're going to know when somebody loves you, when they show it with their actions and not so much with their words. I don't even think you listen to words no more. I think you are all about the action. You're all about the energy. You're all about the chemistry. You're all about the synergy. The connection, you know, the communication, the stimulation, you know, you, you, you're into that energy now. You're more um, in an ascended space, you know, in terms of uh, your love language. It's like it has to hit on a spiritual level. Like they have to be spiritual. They have to have a connection with the divine, you know. And um, so that's really what you're attracted to now is somebody that has, you know, um, a connection with the divine that is spiritual, that is on the same frequency and vibration in that regard. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on, beloveds. So we have action. So what did I say? Somebody's coming in, rushing in. This is, you know, almost like that chariot to me, but this is 17. So that's really reduces to eight. But this card here is telling me that there's somebody that's really trying to come in and bring some sort of balance to the situation. Um, this is somebody that does see you um, as a star. Uh, this is someone that you may have had to, you know, kind of block. You had to move away from someone. I feel like the music inspires someone to take action. Somebody listens to music. Um, somebody hears certain songs or certain lyrics and it just makes them think of you. I feel like for a long time somebody was really just complacent. Um, maybe they was in a karmic relationship, uh, but they do feel like you're the yang to their yin. Um, they are feeling strongly like your wish fulfillment, that you are someone that they need to take action to go towards. Right now we have H-Town. This is called uh, part-time lover. So like I was saying, maybe somebody was being real flighty in and out. Um, but now it's like they have, um, you know, this, this bird's eye view. They're seeing you know, the error in their ways. They're seeing how they could have sabotaged this connection, this relationship, which is why ultimately they seek your forgiveness. They desire your forgiveness um, because they realize they've messed up. And 
this person is prepared to come in 39 39 that's 12 12 that's 3 3 so your person is coming you know 3 3 is 6 so this person is absolutely coming in seeking your forgiveness uh, the six is they're desiring to restore the balance six is really about balance harmony um, they feel this connection harmonizes them in a, a lot of ways as well um, but they don't want to be a part-time lover maybe you felt like this was somebody that was kind of like you know um, not they didn't they weren't all in they had one foot in the door one foot out the door but this person wants forgiveness because they realize that about themselves as well, that they didn't give as much. They didn't invest as much in this connection. So the bottom of the deck, that's why you walked away. You know, you walked away from somebody who was trying to be a part time lover. And now they want to, you know, ask for your forgiveness. This 27 shows me, you know, that's nine. Um, so that shows all of the chances that you may have given someone all of the times that you may have communicated what you needed and how many times they could have ignored those um, those requests. Um, and so this person now uh, could be, you know, asking for your forgiveness, which is why you're looking back. Um, but your back is still turned. Your body is still moving out the gate. So it's like you're walking away. You've walked away rather um, from what wasn't serving you. And I feel like you've been in a hermit mode. Uh, really, like I said earlier, just like in that very introspective space, um, looking back in awareness, um, learning from those experiences, um, gaining a different perspective, um, learning to love yourselves even more and, and, and learning even more importantly, the importance of, you know, following your own dreams you know, doing what you want to do, what you desire to do, following your passions, taking that leap of faith, you know, and, and, and moving with an unwavering um, sense of, you know, fearlessness, determination, drive and willpower. So it's like you have this love of self. She's wearing this pink garb. And so that speaks to emotional fulfillment. So you now have the sense of peace and love um, and you have a brand new perspective. We got sister. Uh, which is a group that Missy Elliott was in in the begin, you know, in the beginning of her career, and this is called Brown New, uh, um, brand new. I said brown new, brand new. So this is absolutely like I said, you know, somebody that sees the new you. Um, they have a brand new perspective now, also, uh, because they've been doing a lot of internal work as well. They've been really looking within as well, um, and I feel like their higher self is instructing them to come in and, and, and apologize, you know, to offer or extend that apology that they know you deserve because they was acting brand new also. They was acting different. Um, so Archangel Mikael is here protecting you. So you have protection um, all around you. They feel you're very protected. So see, this person's very anxious, up in their head, ruminating, pining, agonizing over this situation. This is like the Nine of Swords energy. Sleepless nights, restless nights, rather. I don't like the word sleep. Sleep is not a good word. But this, the, you know, like restless nights, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody like, you know, suffering from insomnia over, you know, over analyzing the situation instead of reaching out and communicating, you know, but they have a brand new perspective, but they are feeling very guilty. They're, they're very heavy. And this nine is telling me that they're ready to change being in their head and they're going to express themselves and communicate to you. Um, and the name of this album is called For All the Sisters Around the World. So I do feel like this person is, um, you know, maybe at a distance, you know, they could be distanced because I saw 2121 and I referenced the world card. Um, so they have been working on themselves. I do feel like they, they are hard on themselves about the way in which they handled this situation. Um, but I also feel like this could be uh, a spiritual union or connection because Archangel Mikael is here protecting you. They feel you're very guarded, very protected, but they also feel you're spiritually aligned. Like you have a very profound connection with your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team. Uh, 35 is the number eight. So they do feel like, um, you know, like you're that wish fulfillment, you know, you're a star. They see you in a completely different light. They see you as someone who has been healing. You've been healing from, 
those past pains, wounds, and traumas that you've endured. And this is somebody that sees how you've evolved into someone brand new. You're a different person. Um, and this is growth, 4444. Four, four, four. So that is um, 16, that's seven. So this is somebody that does um, want to rush in, wants to come towards you. Um, but I feel like they are perhaps praying to their angels, asking for, you know, some sort of strategy plan. Um, so let's see, why does this person feel uh, Scorpio is creative? Why is uh, creativity here? Uh, how this person Scorpio is attract and feel about our beloved Scorpios. Why is creativity here? Thank you, spirit. See that? The world card came out. So you could be at a distance. They also feel like you've transformed. You've changed. And this is the number 11. So this is, you know, the, the, the number of the twin flame for me. So this is definitely somebody that sees you as someone very solid. They're getting divine downloads, divine interventions to communicate, to, um, to come towards you. They see you as a master manifester as well. Like you've leveled up. You've matured, you've grown, you've gained a, diff, a, a, a deeper, more profound understanding of the self. You know, you have a, a more evolved perspective. And I feel like they definitely feel differently about you in this connection now. We also have caring connection. So this person does know the realness of this connection. You know, like I said, with this 32 and this is 14, that's five. This person does want to express this and communicate because they do have. Um, and so the name of um, D'Angelo's song that I was thinking of, I said he had a song called Love Jones, but it's called Jones in my bone and it's playing right now. So this is that person that has a Jones in their bone. They're jonesing over you. You know, they have a love Jones. This is somebody that will have your back, middle and front. This is somebody that will be very chivalrous, kind, caring charming this is somebody that will express themselves communicate with you they'll make you feel loved make you feel supported and this is somebody that does have marriage on the brain because the five is the hierophant in traditional tarot so i do feel like this person you know could be sending you messages um if you are clear audience they could be sending you messages that way through those means you know maybe music that they're listening to is making them think of you heavily this person could have be you know they could be stuck at a fork in the road because of, you know, all this anxiety and stress, you know, this 81 and then you got this eight. So this is like, you know, ruminating, pining, but this is also self-deception, telling yourself all the ways it won't work or how it can't work or what it's not going to happen. It's like just this is just like that lack mentality, confused. But this person definitely maybe they have a wife, you know, or a husband. They have somebody that they reside with, somebody that they're dealing with, you know, that they live with. And this person is very deceptive. They're using some sort of trichnology, guilt tripping. Maybe somebody is codependent on them. This is like an attachment. So that could be codependency, maybe money, finances is the reason why these two are together. And this is why they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to decide between their heart, you know, um, and and their mind trying to make a decision with, you know, head over heart, you know, really. Um, but they should use heart over head. So what we have here, see this, this is what this person feels. So on the other side of that is there's a healing, there's an angel. And on, you know, the other side, um, you know, down the other side of the road, if they go on one side of the fork of the road, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's this, this dark energy, you know, this is like, almost like, um, it's almost like you're settling, you know, it's almost like we got an agreement. So we're going to stay together just for, you know, the way it looks to the outside world. But there's a lack of happiness and joy. On the other side, there's some healing that could take place if they follow this angelic's guidance. So it's like I was saying, they could be receiving like some sort of, um, you know, maybe they're seeking wise counsel you know, from their angels and their, and their guides, um, trying to choose between, you know, what option, you know, look at this, this is beautiful. So we have yin and yang here. So like I said, this is a twin soul, 2277. This is a twin 
or a kindred soul, a twin flame. And this is somebody that has a Jones for you. They're definitely up in their head a lot. And I feel like both of you think of each other. They see you as somebody that is very psychic, very intuitive, because that too deals with the hierophant, I mean the high priestess. And I feel like they're also intuitive. You know, 2-2 two, two in the numerology deck um, is the intuition card. So I feel the both of you very are, are very much um, intuitive psychics, uh, clairvoyants, and you communicate telepathically. This union is absolutely a past life love. This is the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. There's mirroring on both sides. Nine is the highest number of change. So you both have been going through some sort of dark night of the soul and you've completed that lesson. And now that you've completed those karmic lessons, cut those karmic cords, paid off that karmic debt, now you can move forward. This four is the 1111, like I said, twin flame, soulmate, yin yang, divine counterpart, kindred spirit, cosmic companion, whatever you want to call it. This is that type of connection. And this is somebody that is absolutely coming towards you. Four is the divine masculine. That's the emperor in traditional tarot. Even if you're a feminine, that means that this is somebody, you know, that is, they've mastered themselves. This is self-mastery. This is somebody that's been working on themselves and improving themselves so much that they're in balance. They're in harmony. And that's what they've had to do before they could come towards you. Because I feel like you cut your, the, you cut your losses with anything and anyone that tried to bring confusion into your life or to bring, you know, to be that distraction. Like you got rid of a lot of the bad seeds, you know, and I feel like this person was almost like, um, you know, they, they, they were also a part of the purge that took place. But next we have Carnucopia. So there's no denying that you have a lot of uh, wish fulfillment, abundance, opulence. This is like that brand new you know, start. This is everything, all of your needs, wants, and desires being taken care of and is being taken care of by the divine. I feel you and your kindred spirit, your cosmic companion are going to have a lot of um, stability and security, prosperity and abundance, wealth and happiness. Um, you're going to be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Carnucopia is truly a harvest. Um, and I feel like you're going to feel emotionally fulfilled um, as well as financially fulfilled, stable, free. You're not going to have to worry about your finances. Um, right now we have Let Me Know playing at your best by Aaliyah. And so there is somebody that does, you know, want to let you know um, that you make them feel, you know, like they, they could do anything. You know, it's like there's this, this, this epiphany that somebody has had in your absence of how special you made them feel, you know, um, and they see you at your best now. And I feel like it's because, you know, they may have known you um, when you may not have been at your best. But when you are in this divine feminine energy, I feel like or divine masculine, either or it's like somebody sees you, like I said, as that radiant, that radiant light, that radiant soul. And it's very attractive. It's very attractive to them. So let's get a couple more messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we got infinite supply here. Look at that. Infinite supply. Like I said, you will be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And Carnocopia is assuring that. This is confirmation. And then you got infinite supply. So the divine knows you're just at the tail end of completing a cycle. You know, this is an all purple card. So it's like, trust your intuition, trust your inner gumption. Everything is being handled fairly and justly. The divine is saying that you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So, and look, wow, prosperity. I can't make this up. Abundantia is blessing you because you're at your best. It's like you came, you, you came from the bottom. Like you literally... This I'm hearing blood, sweat, tears like you had to grind to get to where you are. And even though you made it look easy, beloved, it wasn't it wasn't easy. You've had to work hard to get to this place. And that's why you are so you're like so um, you're steadfast. You're so adamant on not having 
just anything and anyone around you because you've worked hard to get rid of all of the bad seeds. And so somebody that sees you now at your best, they could have been one of those that got cut off, like I said, that got purged. They were part of the purge and they don't want to be a part of the purge. This is somebody that absolutely wants to be with you because they feel like when they're with you, they're at their best. They're their best versions of themselves. 54, 54, 9, 9. This is absolutely somebody who has been in the hermit mode and has done a whole lot of soul searching, reflecting, and they've been discovering a lot about themselves and wanting to change things. That's why they're so anxious because they realize the error in their ways. They feel this guilt. They feel riddled with remorse, with, with shame. Um, and that's why they're coming to you with a very, you know, with forgiveness. They want forgiveness from you. Um, they're seeking forgiveness from you, but the divine is saying, look, you're just at the tail end of this. Just continue to keep your eyes straight front and center, and you're going to be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Hey, little girl. Hi, baby girl. Hi, friend, friend. Hi, Katara. <laughs> That's my little mamas. All right. So let's sh on the split. We got bodies of water. That's the purge. Like I said, releasing, letting it go. So this person was a part of the purge. And it says, spend time near, um, near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. So that's what you all may have had to do. Hi, honey buns. Hi. Hi, friend, friend. Hi, you. Hi, the baby girl. Hi, the friend, friend. Hi, the friend, friend. Hi, the friend, friend. Hi, honey bunny. Hi, the friend, friend. Hi, friend, friend. You trying to tell me you want some food, huh? You too good for, for the hard food, boo-boo? You can't eat that hard food in there? You got some good $13 bag of food. Go eat it. I know you're all about your Sheba, baby, but can you just give me a moment? <laughs> give me a moment. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to show the baby love. She just woke up. That's the little Katawa. That's the widow Katawa's. All right, so let's see. So divine spirit of love and light. I promise you I'll give you some food in a minute, okay? So right now we have Alicia Keys. I mean, Eve featuring Alicia Keys, and we got Gangsta Lovin'. Okay, so somebody definitely feels that this is um, <laughs> some sort of gangsta love. You know, maybe you a gangster. Maybe they, they feel like you cold-blooded, you know? Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on, beloveds. Maybe somebody was trying to be a gangster, trying to be a G, like I was saying earlier. And then they done messed around and fell in love. It's almost like that player messed around and fell in love. You know, they got to they gotta revoke that player card. They got to retire that because they done fell in love. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. This is the goddess guidance deck. I just like to give a good shuffle just so we could get clear messages. I know it don't sound too good on camera, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios from the goddess guidance deck. As I said, I've been shuffling and then I've been told to, like, cut the cards three times. So we got Unak it says, easy does it, beloved. Easy does it. So this is divine time and we got the fertility. I can't make this up. This is the empress in this deck. Somebody already sees you as the empress. Easy does it. So the divine is saying, don't try to rush anything. Everything is happening according to plan, according to perfect timing. Perfect timing is none other than divine timing. So this person will take action and come towards you when it's the right time. Maybe there's still work you're doing on yourself and vice versa. But I feel like with this gangster love, you know, as I said, this per person... Per, probably tries to reserve, tries to play cool, calm, collected, you know, and, and um, smooth and all of that, suave. But, you know, th this is a gangster that loves you. This is somebody that, that really has it, has it really bad. They got it bad, like Usher would say. So this divine timing is of the essence. Someone is still, you know, sorting out the differences. We did see the fork in the road. We did see that Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it's almost as if somebody is, is, is like breaking themselves free, cutting themselves free from some sort of karmic relationship. Um, and they're completing a karmic lesson. So it's like they have to sort through that. 
before they could come towards you. And then they're going to have to heal their heart. But what they do realize is, you know, there is love because you got this man holding a heart. So this person does have a lot of love. They are aware of the love they feel for you. Don't get it twisted. But what they're working through and sorting through is um, is they're, they're sorting through, you know, kind of cutting this relationship, cutting off this person. Um, they, they could be in a relationship with, I should say. So with this fertility here, this person thinks about you, dreams about you. This is what they're agonizing over, you know, thinking about, you know, how they've, mess this up by trying to be a gangster but they're a gangster in love you know what i'm saying trying to be that player player from the himalaya but they're a player in love you know and it's because of you they're in love with you this is the epiphany they're having like i said up in their head at night thinking about you agonizing even if you're a masculine this is a feminine that's literally like crying over you at night you know thinking about what she said what she did thinking about what she got caught doing whatever it is it's like you know what i'm saying with all she wrote, it's like that that to me is saying like that's all she wrote is a, is an expression of like it's done. That's all she wrote. You know, that's what I from Shaka Demure and Pliers, um, Bam Bam. So, you know, that just came to me it was like that's all she wrote. So it's almost like somebody did something and it was it just it, it was like the, the nail in the coffin, so to speak. And it's very fitting because you rule death. So. Um, we got Mariah Carey. Thank God I found you found. No, we're not going to do that. We already played that song in a former reading. So we got Donnell Jones. Have you seen us? So the, somebody's looking for you. I think somebody is up in their head, you know, up in their head. Maybe somebody really doesn't have your number, doesn't have your information because they, they're looking for you. Have you seen her? Or maybe they're asking their friends like, yo, their homeboys is like, damn, like, you you wide open and he's like yo have you seen her lately like sh shorty looking good she done trimmed down slimmed down the hair is different like it's like they're explaining to their friends that that's why they up in their head too wanting your forgiveness because this is super attractive like you beautiful you're beautiful royal regal you have this this confidence you know you're very successful you're abundant very fertile so let's see, why is forgiveness and anxiety here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Look at this abundance here. I can't make this up. See, hermit mode. They're up they're they're trying to sort this out. They're they're in hermit mode. You know, siege is saying quiet time. So they're taking that time out to assess, and that's why they're kind of like agonizing over this because they're seeing the error in their ways. So they're like in that hermit mode, kind of licking their wounds, you know, trying to feel better. You know, maybe somebody is asking them, like, have you seen her lately? And they're like, no, you know, I haven't seen her for two years, three years, four years. But they've been thinking about you like crazy. Haven't seen you, but they're thinking about you like crazy. And it's causing them a lot of, you know, anxiety and stress. And they do want to, you know, communicate with you. They're not sure if you're going to accept their apology, you know. But we got prosperity here. This person feels you're very prosperous. You're very successful. Whatever you're doing, this creativity here, it's like it's making you shine bright. You know, it's bringing in abundance. It's bringing in success, wish fulfillment. Why is the creativity, the world, and caring connections here for how Scorpio's person sees Scorpio? So this card is sticking out strong. So they see you as very strong, like I said. Whatever it was that took place, it's like you, you, you took your power back. You maintained your strength. You maintained your, your confidence. You know, you stood up, you stood erect. And it's because you realized that you were stronger than you thought you were. And that's what assured some sort of happy outcome. That's what assured this growth, this ascension. You got home here. Somebody wants to return to you because you feel like home. This is the yang to your yin. They're coming in. They're coming back to you because we got home on the bottom of the deck and we're about to clarify what's hidden. And it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So something positive is taking place within your household. And it's because of I feel this home could be referencing not just the physical home you live in, but in your body, your, your physical body, your avatar, you know. And so maybe you're dieting, you're fasting. Maybe some of you all are exercising more, walking, biking, roller skating, 
Um, you know, maybe some of you all are heard swimming. You're taking swimming lessons, you know, and this is making you look more attractive. You're feeling more confident now. But this home is like somebody also feels you turn a house into a home. Why is 77 spirituality yin yang here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? We have mint condition. This is called so fine. So somebody definitely feels you're fine. And we have cycles and rhythms. So honor the cycles and rhythms. I feel like you are trusting what you're feeling intuitively. You're trusting what you're feeling spiritually. Whatever you're feeling, it's like you're trusting that because you know that's your gut instinct with spirituality. You're going with that inner gumption. You're going with the instincts. And I feel like it says, you know, this is, this is like something's changing. You're on the precipice of something to change, something new to take place in your life. Because 7-7 seven, seven and 2-2 two, two is like 9-9, nine, nine, you know, and that's you and your person mirroring one another so you're both going through these changes it's like you've evolved you're and changed your way of thinking you've gained a whole new perspective you've changed some of your belief systems ideologies and i feel like your sorceresses so with this seven seven spirituality this is showing me that you you are the conduit of change you're manifesting things to take place in the way that they are it's like you are a sorcerer, so you are magical. You know how to manifest your dreams, hopes, and desires. You are very capable of setting intention. And as you set your intention, you manifest your desired outcome into this physical reality. And that's why you're, you know, very sensitive. You could be, um, you know, being told to trust what you're feeling intuitively. You know, I feel like you are manifesting. This could be seen as like, you know, an instrument of manifestation because cycles and rhythms. So you could be manifesting this new love that's coming in. Yeah, this is somebody that thinks you're very fine, very attractive, down to earth, natural healer, shaman, light worker, very abundant, successful, beautiful attractive you know this is somebody that's drawn to you we got start delegating inner wisdom and past life just all flew out prosperity is still here so prosperity some of you all are absolutely going to have some sort of offer financial blessing wish fulfillment promotion some sort of tax return, some sort of financial bliss and that's going to come through. I feel like with cycles and rhythms, the divine is telling you to trust your inner gumption with something. You are very grounded. You're seen as very grounded. You're seen as someone who's like, um, you're like that, that you're almost like a conductor of energy. <laughs> it's like, you know, the way she's like, kind of this this earth is orbiting like she's kind of rotating the earth on her hand it's almost like you're the conductor of energy so it's like you ground the people around you that's why you're seen as very nurturing very loving very caring i feel that you may take on too much and the divine is reminding you to delegate as necessary don't try to do it all don't try to be everything to everyone delegate as necessary because that's also a form of self-love when you show people that you know your worth when you have people feeling like they could just take advantage then that's exactly what they're going to do but make sure to delegate as necessary and trust your inner gumption as i said because you're very wise some of you all may be seeing animal totems um owl animal totems I feel there's definitely a twin flame, a soulmate. We got past life, and this is falling right underneath the yin-yang and the spirituality. And I was telling you, you had a cosmic companion. This is almost like that twin flame of that past life connection. And here we have it. So this is absolutely a, like a triple confirmation for you all, if you're wondering. And somebody is just 
bitten by the smitten bug because they feel you're so fine. And remember, I was saying I was hearing fine, like somebody thinks you're fine, like you fine. And, and we got mint condition singing so fine. And you have prosperity here. And we're about to clarify the carnucopia and the love. So I really strongly feel, Scorpios, y'all have so many blissings that are about to come in and it's not even funny. It's like there's things about to come in and I feel like you can't, you won't even believe it if I told you. But with this carnucopia, just looking at that card and look, this, these are both coming from the divine, from spirit, from source, from the universe. You know, the divine is showering this carnucopia and blessing you with this harvest. The divine is showering out these blessings. You have to be receptive. They're also sending in the outcome is love. You're going to have love here. This is emotional, financial fulfillment. And we have Lisa Lisa and the cult jam. I wonder if I take you home. So if somebody wants to take you home. And remember, we just saw home. You know, said somebody um, that your home would be changing by a healthy change in the occupants. So somebody wants to live with you. Somebody wants to make you wifey. Be bold. Be fearless. Don't back down from anybody or anything. Take risks. Be daring. And we got divine passion. Didn't I say somebody's feelings was erupting? It was erupting within them. And look at this eruption, this explosion from this volcano. This is divine passion. Somebody's love. I wonder if I take you home. Somebody want to make, make love to you. Because remember, we, we, you know, we have a lot of songs here that we're playing. And this person really loves you. They have this passion. They could be pleasing themselves. I wonder if I take you home. Will you still be in love, baby? Because I need you tonight. And it says, be honest with yourself. Somebody's going to be honest with themselves. They was lying to themselves before. And it could have pushed you away. Because like I said, I was feeling like that runner chaser, especially with teaching and learning there. So I feel like you taught somebody something. And now they realize, damn, I fucked up, son. Pardon my language, but I did. I jacked this whole situation up. And now they are like, you know, I was picking up on somebody. Like I was hearing masturbation. And I don't even like that word. I usually say self-pleasure. And that's exactly what they're doing. I feel like somebody is just. <laughs> I'm a mess. Part of me. See, I'm picking up on some whole funny energy, y'all. Part of my language. I'm, I'm not cutting that out. I'm going to be real. I'm sorry. But that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Somebody is like passion, fire, desire. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. We're going to pull some messages from my deck. See what we got. So we got the chemistry is real. Words unspoken. Didn't I say somebody wasn't speaking their truth? And, and with surface, I was saying somebody was like suppressing, you know, their feelings, not expressing their truth. But they want to because the music, everything around them is like reminding them and telling them, look, you need to take action, you know. And I feel like they're going to take action when they feel the confidence to do so you know that's what they're mustering up right now is the confidence they taking that that quiet time that time to themselves to reflect and you know they're looking at the situation but the chemistry is real it's undeniable you can't you you know what i'm saying energy is it, you can't destroy energy energy is transferable and i feel like when the two of you get together it's electricity it's electric can't can't deny it you're manifesting this like I said, the divine feminine is a master manifester and she knows her worth and value. She knows her love language. She knows what does she what she deserves or he knows what he loves or what he deserves. And that's what he's manifesting as well. If you are a divine masculine. So you got the power. You realize you got the power. You've always had the power. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're utilizing right now is the power. My kitten, my cat is literally like grabbing my foot. Like, will you bring your behind to this bathroom and give me my food? Success is here. Can't make this up. We done saw abundance. Then we saw blossoming abundance. Then we saw a carnucopia. So you have money, money, money coming in. And this is, like I said, by means of a promotion, 
by means of you manifesting your dreams, hopes, wishes, wish fulfillments coming in. This is like a dream, a miracle taking place. There's some sort of financial blessing coming in that you all have manifested. Can you please stop, Katara? That actually hurts. Can you stop? <laughs> Move. What are you doing to me? <laughs> she over here like attacking my foot. Stop. You can't be attacking me. All right. I'm going to come in a minute. I'm coming. I, part, I, I promise. Give me, give me a few more minutes. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm like literally cutting the deck three times. Because that's what I've been hearing. Three, 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 three. Okay. All right. So we have single black, white, male, female, once your life, jealous, envious, stalk, sneaky hater. So what is up with this person? This energy keeps coming out. Why? Why? I don't like that energy. And that's probably like I said, because remember. This female here. Seems to be the person, your person that's coming towards you, or even if it's a male. Just because it's a female in the card doesn't mean it's a female in the real world, you know, and vice versa. If it's a male on the card doesn't mean it's a male. But this is what they are riddled with. They are dealing with somebody that is dark. You know, they're dealing with somebody that they have some sort of codependency on and they're trying to make a decision, you know, on, you know, either you get right or you get left. You go right, you know what I'm saying? It's like get right or get left. And this person is trying to make a decision because this relationship that they're in is almost like it, it looks codependent. It looks toxic. It looks like it's just for, you know, appearances, material items. Um, you know, it's just out of greed. You know, it's almost, so, almost like it's an arrangement, as I said earlier. Maybe this person has learned about you. You know what I'm saying? And the divine is saying, look, there's no need to hurry or force things to happen because everything is occurring in perfect timing. That's what easy does. It is all about. But this person is ready to take action, but they're still trying to find balance because this white horse is taken off with power, with force. Whereas this black um, horse is still kind of like barely moving. So it's like they got to find balance. There has to be some sort of balance first. And the black is it deals with protection. You know, black is a is, is a color of protection. So maybe they are trying to protect themselves, trying to protect their future, trying to protect, you know, this union even. Because remember, we had Archangel Mikael make a debut. And when he shows up, that means there's protection over the union, over this reading. He's watching over you. He's your angel, your God. Some of you have been working with Archangel Mikael. Some of you have been doing that nine week prayer to Archangel Mikael. And if that's the case, he's letting you know, like, look, whatever's being thrown at you, we, you're protected from it. Um, so right now we have um, Big L J Z, and this is called this is a um, a ten minute freestyle. So I do feel like with the ten reference, like this is absolutely somebody who's going through, um, you know, completing a karmic lesson. You know, and whoever they're with, whether masculine or feminine, they're obsessed with this person because that's what this devil is all about. The devil is a master manipulator, a trickster, a liar, a deceiver, a gaslighter. He's a mind fucker. Like he, he, he causes this confusion, you know, and he's holding something because that's his manipulative ass. And the money, you know, maybe somebody is really, you know, being manipulated over money. You know, somebody's holding on to somebody over money, but somebody's also very jealous. They're jealous of you. You know, maybe somebody's in a competition with you and you don't even know it. But this person knows and Archangel Mikael and your angels and ancestors know, which is why you're divinely protected. We got dream catcher nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. I can't make this up. Somebody is doing some voodoo, some hoodoo, some juju, some spell work on, on the person that you have that's coming towards you. Whether masculine or feminine, that's why they're up in their head. This is anxiety. This is waking up during witching hours. This is insomnia. And this is somebody who's now like doing. Oh, I just knocked my thing down. Give me one moment. I knocked my my sage. So I find it very interesting that as I'm speaking of this energy, my Palo Santo stand, you know, the little stand that I have, my little Avalon shell and my um, Palo Santo just fell. So that's very telling. 
everything happens for a reason. Nothing is accidental. I'm a firm believer of that. And it's no coincidence that I am speaking on this very dark energy, the dream catcher nightmares, which in hours protection needed. And we're picking up on the energy of the person that you are attracting and look where they're at, the nine of swords type of energy. And this is anxiety. So they're taking some quiet time or they need to take some quiet time to um, to really sort through their thoughts and to figure something out. I feel like that's exactly what they've been doing. Look at this. I can't make this up. It says, accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. That's absolutely what you did. And this person now, you know, is going to come in and ask for your forgiveness. But this is why you had to be so strong. This is what strength was. You realize how strong you was when you had nothing more to lean on but your strength. And so that's why this person could be ruminating and pining because whatever options, choices, decisions they made, it didn't work out for them. In fact, they got caught up with somebody who was doing spell work, somebody who had some sort of um, ulterior motives. That toxic devil energy is telling me that. And then we got, you know, Big L and Jay-Z. This is a 10 minute freestyle. This is from the Stretch Armstrong show. This is from back in the days, 1995. New York, my New York days, but remember Aaliyah came on, your love is one in a million. This person realizes after dealing with, you know, because you always can appreciate real love when you done had some fake ish. You can appreciate the real when you done dealt with the fake. And that's what this person is having, that epiphany. And that's why they're wanting your forgiveness because they realize they done messed up. You know what I'm saying? And with the 10, the 10 reference in the song, that just means they're done. That means that they're ready to complete the cycle. They're ready to let it go. And I shuffled again because the cards got all discombobulated. And so I said, let me get another shuffle. So the person you're dealing with, this is the blocka, 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 I think Snata. How they feel is they feel blocked from you. They feel that you've blocked them and you've blocked them necessarily. Like you did so because you had to protect yourself. You wasn't going to allow anybody to continue to manipulate and play games and toy with your emotions and be flighty and in one minute, out one the next. It was like you had to block what wasn't serving your highest good. This person now understands that. They realize that they're the ones that kind of put the nail in the coffin of the relationship. Um, with basic instructions before leaving Earth, seeking higher knowledge, perhaps that's how you all were able to find your strength, your spiritual strength, because you started to seek, you know, that, that higher, um, that higher um, knowledge. You started to seek wise counsel. You started to call upon your ancestors, your angels. Um, and with basic instructions before leaving earth, I feel that's what your person is now doing. Maybe they took a page out of your book. Maybe they're seeking some sort of, of, of guidance because they're dealing with some really toxic, um, energy here. So let's see, why does this person Scorpio is attracting feel that they are creative? Why is the world card carrying connections and be strong here? And it says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Each one, teach one. And remember we had teacher teaching and learning. So I feel like you have absolutely been teaching this person. They've been watching you. As I said, they've been learning from you. They've been evolving you know, um, gaining a more evolved perspective, if you will, by watching you and by you taking your power back, by you setting those boundaries and you having higher standards now, by you focusing your attention on the things that matter to you, opposed to negativity, by you just doing that work on yourself, it has made them feel you know, the necessity to start doing their own work, to start doing some of that introspective work, to start soul searching, to start investigating, you know, why, you know, the why question, you know, looking around and seeing who they have around them even. But this person does feel blocked. And I feel like everything you speak, you know, this person is like they see you live that truth. It's like when you're the change you wish to see in the world, you're the very example of that. You're the epitome of that, of what it is you wish to see. That's why happy was playing. So they want to be happy and they see you as being very happy regardless of whatever you've endured. You found your happiness because you realize happiness was an inside job. 
you find you found love of self because you realized that love was an inside job and that's why you're coming off very evolved very you know very wise you know very um very in tune very aligned but this one this person's learning from you as i said they're learning from you and they see you as wish fulfillment chemistry of love I plus you equals we equals us. So this person absolutely feels like you are the yang to their yin, yin to their yang. They feel that you are their divine counterpart. They feel this connection is a past life connection because what did I say about chemistry? Chemistry, synergy, energy, those things. It's like the electricity the two of you make together when you're around one another. It, it causes this explosion within this person. So why is spirituality, yin yang, cycles and rhythms, Mother Earth start de delegating inner wisdom and past life here for Scorpio? And it says perform a grounding ritual, kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. And I feel like because Mother Earth is here, that's exactly what you're, you are. You embody, like I said, groundedness. This person feels grounded around you. They feel you ground them. They feel you center them. Because remember that 7722, two, two, I said that's like 9 9. And so that's really like the hermit. And that's a lot of introspective work. That's a lot of reflection. So when you're doing that, you're like almost in a meditative state, meditating to get things straight. This is what your person needs to do. They need to ground themselves, they need to perform a grounding ritual. And so we have Monifa featuring Heavy D, and this is called I Miss You. So this person does miss you, and it says, come back home. And it says, read the room and see who's got their eyes locked on you. So this person is, you know, in a, 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 a whoever you're attracting, I feel, like they're starting to assess and observe the people in their cipher, because I feel like they're about to start doing a purge they're about to start you know completing some sort of purge releasing folks that no longer um serve their highest good if you will all of the confusion they were initially feeling i feel like they're letting it go they're they're gonna make a decision and they're gonna trust what they feel they're starting to see something very funny you know about the people around them they're reading the room and they feel like they're in a room full of vultures and so they're going to have to move and navigate the same way you did. But there's definitely some grounding that's necessarily because they've been off in La La Land. And it says, where do you see yourself five years from now? If you don't know, create a vision board. So this person has been misguided, misled, distracted off their path. You know, and as I said, I felt like it was because somebody was kind of like manipulating them, using them for money. You know, I just get usury. I just get somebody who's greedy Somebody who feels entitled. This is really just like I said, an ar arrangement. Somebody's just living with somebody so they could pay their half of the bills or so they could, you know, pay a portion of the mortgage or pay the car note. But they're not. But there's no love here. And that's why they need to ground themselves because they're off in la la land. Everything that glitters is in gold is what I'm hearing. Because the connection that they truly feel, it says, I miss you. Come back home. This person misses you. Rising power to heavy D. This person misses you. And I feel like this person doesn't ask for what they need. It's like closed mouths don't get fed. So it's like this person isn't asking for what they need. And that's why the divine is saying, look, you got to start delegating. We know you're in your power because you're you're strong, your strength. You have the world card here. So you've evolved. You've leveled up. You know your worth and value. You know how to navigate difficult situations, you know, um, circumstances tough terrain I'm hearing so let's see why is love carnucopia divine passion here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpio bottom of the deck we have you plus me can't make this up you plus me equals what love you plus me equals love your soulmate your twin flame that lovers card that's the lovers energy 903 on the clock thank you I love you Donnie so that's 12 on the clock right now and we have, they're cold-blooded, they have evil intentions, watch them. And then we have rare breed black sheep, misunderstood, 
Mr. Understood. So this is two different energies, which is why this person is at a fork in the road. Like I said, get right or get left. That's the way this person is at. So this person absolutely realizes, you know, that there is this passion they have for you. Like we said, they feel your love is one in a million. You know what I'm saying? They feeling something special about you. There's just something special about you. There's a little something, something about you. And remember, we had SWV. I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. But something gets into me. Um, something about the way you do the things you do. That's what this person, when you're rare, nobody else can do what you do. Whoever they're dealing with right now, they're cold blooded and they have evil intentions and you can't make this up. Whether this is a husband or a wife, a girlfriend, a karmic, this is what, this is the energy they're in. Somebody could just be using them for money, using them for security, stability. But this is what they're dealing with. And this is the fork in the road that this person is in. Right now we have Coco and John B featuring Jay-Z and it's called Always Keep It Real. So you always kept it real, whereas this person that they're dealing with, like I said, trickster. This is a serpent. This is somebody that speaks with a forked tongue. This is a gaslighter. This is a manipulator, a master manipulator. And they're cold-blooded. So your person now has to make a decision. And they're going to have to choose. And I feel like they're going to choose you because it says you plus me equals love. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. So this person absolutely is going to choose you because they do feel this passion. You know, when the passion is intensifying to an explosion, this is like they're, they're literally about to come towards you because you've always kept it real. You're the change, you know, that they want in their life. You're the happiness. You're the peace. They feel like the connection with you is very, um, it's like um, you're like a like mind. You know, you stimulate them on many levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You are enlightening. You're wise. You know, you're a nurturer. This person is very much stuck at a fork in the road, but I feel like they're going to be bold. They're going to come towards you. This person is closer than you may imagine because we have these here. And remember, we had teaching and learning. So this person has been learning from you. You know, they've been learning and they are absolutely going to make their way towards you. I want to get a couple of tarot cards and then we're going to wrap it up. Let me see what we got. We're going to pull some messages from. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. I haven't used this deck in like a, a gazillion years, but we're going to use it today, beloved. We're going to use it today. So we got the Queen of Cups here. So this is your energy, love of self. You've reached the level of self mastery. Look at all those go that gold. I feel like there's a message coming in, a message of love, because you see how this bird is sitting right on her chalice and she's smiling. You know, on this one, she seems to be grinning. She's wearing these onks, rocking the onk. The onk is the symbol of life. That's man, woman and child, the trinity. This is a blue bird. So the blue deals with the throat chakra. Somebody's absolutely going to come in and they're going to keep it funky with you. They're going to keep it real. They're going to say how they feel. So we got the page of coins. Somebody want to make some sort of offer. There's a new offer coming in. Job offer, love offer. I definitely see the wheel is turning in your favor. Things are turning in your favor. Somebody's going to come in and plead the fifth, plead the sixth, plead the case. You're going to be like, look, please, baby, baby, please. He's on his knees begging. He's like, I love you. This is new love offer. This is somebody that's going to be like very charming. You know, maybe this is somebody, like I said, you had a tower moment with because I see a tower off in the distance. But they could be coming back asking and seeking forgiveness because this is like that apology, you know, explaining to you what happened, you know, apologizing. But they're going to keep it real. You know, maybe the connection with you, they could always keep it real, always keep it funky. See that? What did I say? They're offering you love. There's love here. And this is love that could lead to, you know, marriage, children. This is like... Even a pregnancy, you can mess around, get pregnant because we do have this three creativity. You could create life with this person. What did I say? That person's in the nine of swords energy, seeking forgiveness, you know, anxiety, ruminating, pining, agonizing over this love, feeling like they missed an opportunity. 
They didn't accept the cup of love when you was offering it because that's like a feminine's hand. But we see like this could be like this could be um, perceived as like a, a watch. So maybe divine timing was always of the essence. And when I see these angel wings on this cup, along with the ankh, the symbol of life, I absolutely feel that this is a spiritual connection, a spiritual union. And we do see spirituality here, seven, seven. And we got Maxwell again, and this is called I'm you, you are me, and we are you. So this is like, this is literally like that card that said you plus me, and then it said chemistry equals love equals you plus us. So this is literally like kind of the same type of wordplay, if you will. So this is your divine masculine. They feel like you two are uh, kindred spirits. So they they know now they're, they they're awakening this the name of this album was, is called embrya so they're still like in the incubation you know um state they're still learning they're still growing they're still healing but they're going to emerge and come towards you and as i said that we got the six of wands so this does lead to a victory i feel like it's going to lead to marriage this person is going to come towards you because this is falling under music action easy does it single black white female so they're going to be moving away from the single black white female to come towards you. And I feel everybody ain't gonna be happy about them walking away, moving away, because these people are in competition. You know, this is the conflict. They're moving away from the conflicts. They're moving away from the chatter, from the negativity, you know, and they're coming towards you for the victory. And I feel like there's gonna be, you know, happiness, joy. This person is making that decision. Remember the fork in the road? It's like they're choosing now. They know which direction they want to go. It's like I said, get left to go, go, get, go left to get. How did I say it? I forgot what I said. I said it when I was in zone. Get right or go left. <laughs> get right or get left. What am I saying? So this is what this person is doing. It's like this, this is some sort of epiphany because the moon is always very symbolic of intuition. So they're trusting now their intuition. Remember 96, 15, that's six. That's their first eye. They're using their intuition. They're using discernment to make a decision. Even though they feel blocked, they're still following their heart. They know it's going to be difficult. His body is looking towards this area where the water and the mountains are. And they know it's going to be a difficult you know, situation to rectify, but their love and the the feeling, they feel like you two are kindred spirits. That's why they're doing it. So let's see. Why is love, anxiety, quiet time here? See that? Blocked. We can't get the same messages anymore. They feel blocked. Like you've blocked them, but they're still coming. They feel like you're super defensive. With this seven of staffs and the two that's like the nine of staffs. So this is that same energy of block. They feel like you have them blocked, like you are on some do not cross this line in the sand. I'm in a very protective bubble, sacred space. Um, I enjoy my peace. But this person wants to break those walls down. This person definitely um, doesn't want to be on the receiving end of that. That's why they're very anxious, because they're trying to figure out and strategize a way to come into get you to trust them again, to get you to open up, to be receptive. And they're just going to take that leap of faith. They're going to come in passionately because they've made their decision. They're no longer confused. They're following their heart and their emotion. This moon is also on the same side as the water. The water is reflective. So all of the reflection that they've been doing, the internal work, reviewing their actions, their past actions, now they realize that's what led to the demise. I feel like they're in something where they may have been betrayed, backstabbed, deceived. They also see that you've been going through the, a similar experience, similar toxic experiences, but you have maintained your strength. You've been very resilient regardless. And this is why they're learning from you. It's like the teaching and learning. They've watched you literally take that sword, that last sword and cut yourself free from those karmic cords. This is betrayal, backstab, but you've evolved, you've transformed into someone very powerful. So why is creativity, the world, caring connections be strong? Somebody feels like they've missed an opportunity. See that? This person feels like they've missed an opportunity and you left. I'm leaving on the next train. I don't know when I'll be back again. And this is what they're feeling. Remorse. Damn, I missed an opportunity with my divine Scorpio. 
I missed an opportunity. Now you're off in the distance. This person may feel like they want to travel to see you because the world also is very indicative of, you know, space, distance, maybe emotional, even physical distance that could be between the two of you. There is sadness, but they do feel this person could be per performing like a love ritual, you know, even setting intention to bring their love back. You know what I'm saying? Because he's holding this one chalice and he's also holding what can be perceived as like a magic wand. So this instrument, it could be, you know, sitting under this tree. That's a, a symbol of protection and also the symbol of family life, the family tree. So they could be performing some sort of love ritual to bring you back, manifesting you back into their life. They do want to reconcile. They do want to come back into your life because they do love you. This is somebody that does realize, you know, the error in their ways. And they've had some sort of wake up call and epiphany. You know, that's why they're now looking you know, at their circle, at their cipher, at their so-called friends, and they're realizing like, you know, something, something, something just ain't right. <laughs> I'm hearing that something, something. We had Maxwell saying something, something. Now I'm hearing Keith Sweat, something, 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 something just ain't right. See that? And so they read in the room and it ain't right because they're around a bunch of vultures. I feel like they're around vultures. They're around serpents, forked tongues fake snakes, you know what I'm saying? Master manipulators, connivers, deceivers, tricksters, you know what I'm saying? Liars, straight up. Like, so why is spiritual? But you, but they're trusting their intuition now because they have the seven and seven just along, you know, they got the seven with you. So look at that, the page of staffs. So now they're going to communicate. This is like exciting news coming in. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody absolutely like feeling like, OK, let me trust what I know. This is somebody that's gained some sort of epiphany, you know, and, and they're coming towards you. They're going to say how they truly feel. The six of cups. What did I say? I can't make this ished up, beloved. Six of cups. They're going to say what they feel. They come in towards you because they feel you're like the one that got away. You know what I'm saying? The six and the four of cups, that's the ten of cups. This is what they feel. They feel like they're missing an opportunity. Got to get you home tonight. And this is by Foxy Brown. And remember last time we had something about home. I, I, I forgot. Um, come, come back to me. I miss you by Monifa featuring Heavy D was playing. And it said home. Come back home or something like that. And I was about to clarify the love. So this person feels you're like home to them. You feel like home. You're the sunlight. You are the sunshine in this person's life. You bring strength. You bring confidence. You bring illumination and clarity, peace and joy, happiness. They feel like they could do anything with you. You know what I'm saying? So why is love, carnucopia, divine passion? Good Lord. This is like a gazillion cards. Do I take all of these? No, I heard nope. Okay. But there's the chariot. They're rushing towards you. I told you the chariot that they, they're coming towards you and they're coming quick, fast and in a hurry because now they got the confidence. They've mustered up that confidence, that strength. So divine spirit, why is the six, the love, carnucopia, divine passion, rare breed here? The magician. This is the great I am as above, so below, as within, so without. Somebody is manifesting you back. They're manifesting a change within this connection because he's holding a snake, a serpent. So it's like he is, you know, manifesting the change. Snakes also are um, very indicative of change because they shed their old skin. So this is something that somebody is aware of the power to manifest. You see that? Look at this. Look at this energy. See this? So somebody is taking control. This is what you got here. Somebody feels a lot of passion for you, a lot of attraction. I was picking up on somebody being like, almost obsessed also, you know, kind of, kind of obsessive, but this is also, you know, the energy of, you know, sex, love, addictions, maybe somebody has an addiction, but with this awareness, I feel like somebody is absolutely, you know, coming into their power to, you know, sever the tie because I see this sword. So they're going to sever whatever this attachment is to this devil because they feel this love for you. They feel this attraction towards you and they're coming towards you because they want to offer you the world. They want to offer you this love. This is like yin yang, exactly. Twin flame. You can't make this up. And so we have the Knight of swords. There's communication rushing in. This person is going to rush. 
you know what I'm saying, to tell you something. I do feel like they are battling it out with somebody that has it out for them because remember they're cold blooded and it says um, they have evil intentions. Well, this battle here looks very dramatic. It looks, you know, so they're fighting with somebody that could absolutely be like a fire sign because this is like a lion. So it's like they're fighting with somebody, but they're going to cut themselves free. They're protecting themselves just as the divine said. So they're blocking someone, something else out of their lives, completing a karmic lesson so that they can come towards you because they want to get you home tonight. They got to get you home. They find you foxy, sexy. Let me get one more message for this because we got two of those messages. Let me get one message. Why is love, Jones, carnucopia, divine passion, they're cold-blooded, rare breed here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you. I can't make this up. Eight of coins, they want to come and work with you. They see your worth and value. They see this as a connection that they can build with, grow with. You could build a legacy. This is somebody you could have met at your place of employment. Somebody you could have resided in the same complex. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that's wanting to come in. And it's like they want to build with you, grow with you. And right now they are cutting something out of their life that does not serve their highest good. So they're cutting someone something off. You know, and this is like a, a, a battle to the death I'm hearing. It's like brutal. So we got Mr. Loving Man. This person going to come towards you. Very passionate. They got their eyes set on you, locked and loaded. Look at this. Queen of Staffs, Queen of Cups. They're watching. I can't make this up. This is a suit. So this is someone very passionate, very attractive, very charming. And this is your energy. Very beautiful, very regal, royal. You know your worth and value. And this person is stalking and watching, watching you from a distance. And what did I say about that three of cups? This is somebody that wants to reunite, reconnect, reconcile, repair, and heal this connection. But this is a beautiful reading, my beloved Scorpios. Um, I am absolutely seeing somebody working their way towards you, but they're cutting off a karmic lesson. They're cutting off some sort of karmic um, so that they could come towards you. And before they come towards you, they're going to really work on themselves to heal because I feel like you've been teaching them. They've been getting a page or two out of your book. So they're learning from you, you know. And I feel like, you know, because there are one, two, three, there's six swords. This person could, you know, reach out to you. Look what just flew out when I picked this card up. We got the Ten of Cups. This is leading to the Ten of Cups. I went to pick this card up and the Ten of Cups flew out. And I just told you that I saw the four and the six when I was just breaking it down. And I said, that's the 10. So this is what this person feels. Mr. Lover Man, they're going to come in and they're going to swoop. They're going to woo you. They're going to love you. Even if it's a feminine, she's going to be very loving, caring, very nurturing, kind. This is somebody that absolutely has love for you. We know that because the love came out twice when we were speaking about the person and the outcome. And then we also saw the twin flame energy, the two, two, which was the yin yang. But you are mirroring this person. This person is absolutely learning from whatever it is that you've had to endure, whatever lessons you've had to come, you know, overcome and the, the growth and the strength that you have exuded, the strength you exude. It is very it is very um, magnetic. It's attractive. And I feel like it's it has triggered someone to do their work. And so they know they have to come to you healed, balanced, aligned, strong. And that's what they're going to do. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Um, if you found the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Um, definitely hit the bell notification. If you are new, hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. And I do want to make an announcement. I'm going to be giving away this crystal crown. Um... Pardon me, I almost dropped it. It's very heavy. These are some heavy stones. But I'm going to be giving away this crystal crown. Um, I think I'm going to be giving it away next month. I'm going to do a giveaway next month. But, um, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? And you could rock it or you could just put it on your altar. Um, I wear mine. <laughs> I wear mine. But, yeah, so, you know, this is what you'll receive. Um, I'm making a bunch of them. I think I'm gonna make probably like two more. I said a bunch, um, but I'm making like two more and I think I'm gonna put it on my Etsy shop, but this one I am going to give away. Okay. But 
Thank you all for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love, and light to you all. Have a blessed day.